Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Basilius campaign here in EU4. Thanks for your support so far. 300 likes a day and we will keep the twice daily uploads rolling. It has been awesome and I am enjoying making what you guys are enjoying watching. So, we are at war and I think it probably makes sense to uh, go ahead and do this. The reason being, you get an extra bit of morale. So we're going to take that, plus we have plenty of money. We are also going to go ahead and... Uh, enact this uh the commission we're going to commission the icon of saint michael give us a little bit of uh extra discipline and um it's going to be it's going to come in handy we're also going to go ahead and get rid of this guy and ideally we will get a morale guy but we'll see so for this war it's uh it's going to be it's it looks rather one-sided but it should be fine um the idea is that they're going to send their men up in you know not so good packs. Oh, we just stack wiped his navy. His little navy. So he does have galleys, he does have heavies. So let's go ahead and get our, uh, get an admiral here. I don't have any diplo. Sheesh. Let's see here. Can I get that any diplo? No, I cannot. But I can get an admiral. So let's do that. We'll go ahead. He just has a bunch of maneuver. So that's kind of funny. Let's go ahead and come down here. Kill off Mamluki and navy. You love to see it. You love to see it. Mi favorito. Come on down here and siege down Teke. I do need to be careful here. So all of this is dryland, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, scorch the earth here. And I'm going to scorch the earth here as well. And here. So the, the reason why is this is all hills. So if we can force a defensive fight here, I want to. Is this hills as well? This is highland, so go ahead and just do all that and we're going to be sitting back and playing the defensive war which is cool because we totally are the aggressor in this war right <laughs> but then we're going to be the defender in all this stuff so get you guys over here it probably actually will come to Tekka so our truce of Florence is over I don't care about that somebody joined the coalition AQ it won't fire because I'm at war with people who could join it so Dolkadir might join but who cares? Big whoop. Uh, land maintenance? Nope. I would like a discipline guy. That's the ideal. He will gain, slowly gain some war exhaustion from us blockading him. I really don't want to do this, but I, th I need to spend 200 more to get rid of this stupid, stupid disaster. And we never need to worry about it again. Makes me sad. Fort Defense is a good one, but I think I want the more discipline. I'm still not seeing anybody. There we go. And look at that. We got 110% discipline and, you know, 1.2 more morale than them. So, we're good. We're good. I could honestly start forcing down some of the fights, but... Er, they have so many men. 33,000 infantry, just from the Mamluks alone. I wonder where they're going. Oh, they're on their way. There we go. There, they're coming. Georgia is now guaranteed. So let's also come over here and make sure that they're not making their way over to this fort. Or not fort, this uh, land over here. Okay, so they're making their way into Tekka. So they'll be there on the 21st. I can be there on the 17th, so let's make sure. Hmm. So I'll be the defender. I have more cannons than them. They have a wider front line, though. It's not smart. Shoot. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if we can get these guys over here. As long as we can fill out the front line, that's the key. We want to make sure that we're filling out the front line. So these guys are going to be going somewhere. Very good. So they're actually splitting up. So let's take the easier fight. These guys will be there on the 6th of October and we can be there way before that. So they're locked in on the 6th of October and we will be there before and they will we will be the defender 
in defensive train. I think somebody just joined a coalition. A couple people I don't care about. So this should be a stack wipe on our for us. And then those guys will come in on their own. Beautiful. It's not a stack wipe, unfortunately. Ah, shoot. Well. We have Romanos. Romanos Chionate? Chionies? I don't know how to pronounce any of that, so. Very good. They might just be running down to Tekka. That'd be cool. No, they're not. Let's go ahead and split you guys up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They do have a lot of men coming up here, apparently. Let's see what our next uh, thing will be. I tend to favor the admin cost. Plus, I like just having burger influence because it's tends to be a little tough to come by. Um, let's go ahead and send these guys up there. Let's have you guys send like half those guys there. No, just like, I, I literally want to select that one. There you go. I'll send you guys over here. Send you guys over here. Let's see if we can get those guys off there. We'll be able to uh, out front line them. So it shouldn't be too hard. Got to play this. This time around, we got to play way slower and way more calculated. Because that was my problem last time, is that I was just running around like a crazy man, and I paid the cost. So I don't think he's going to be able to reinforce this, so it should be an easy win for us. Let's get you guys out of there. Very good. Let's come on over to Ankara. Um, I always like stab, but, uh, I also want the burgers loyal. So let's get these guys over here. Lost a lot of men so far, but so have they. Oh, way more than we have. That's, uh, so they're going over to tech, eh? Fifty thousand men. Look at all that attrition, you idiots. <sighs> that caraman stack, I don't know why they're coming over here. So they're running over there with no general. Should be an easy stack wipe, I reckon. They will be there on the what's the earliest one there? The third of June? We could be there on the 24th of June. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. All right, the Azeron stack will be there on when? 3rd of July? How are they so fast? I don't know, man. Hmm. Well, I mean, if you guys want to go into my... Four, that's totally fine. Jeez. Yeah, that's an easy win. They're gonna keep on reinforcing, but we have all the manpower. Oh, we're shattering. Sheesh. Okay, well. Feels bad. They still lost way more men than we did. Unfortunately, that it is a show superiority war. So they got a lot more war score out of that than we did. Let's go ahead and consolidate some of these manpower. Um, let's see here. Yeah, somehow they're gonna catch that stack there, unfortunately. So, Helena. So. Let's go ahead and combine all these guys into one. That way we're not reinforcing a bunch of men that we don't need to. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and have you guys allowed over. They're locked in. Beautiful. I'd love to see that happen. And then we just keep on letting them cross over, wait for them to lock, go on over, defend. They're going to try to reinforce. We don't let them reinforce. Rinse and repeat. 
go ahead and finish out the t this defensive group if we can. Let's uh, have you guys go back to protecting trade. And uh, should be able to stack wipe these guys easily enough. It's dryland, so we could totally get over there. They're not gonna be able to reinforce in time. This is this stack is dead. Very good. Let's go ahead and come up here. Both of those guys are infantry or er, cow. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Carisi. So that's grassland. So that's an easy fight for us. Will we be able to get the reinforcement? We will. Get a morale tick. For some reason, half the stack pulled back. So that's actually really good for us. Awesome. So, not only are we going to do that, we're definitely taking this. So that means we're going to need to make our way over. So all these dudes are... Like, look at that. That's how you fight a proper war. <laughs> not being a dingus like I was before. So let's go ahead and leave a stack there. Let's actually leave two stacks there. Have you guys head on over? Have you guys head down there? I don't reckon they're gonna be going to tech, eh, are they? Oh, they are. Some of them are. Sheesh. Okay, let's get you guys not killed. There we go. Nope. Why are they, like, walking all the way around there? That's not what I want. Let's have you guys go over here. Come on now. Jeez, oh, Pete. Let's start converting some stuff as well. We have that extra mer uh, extra um, missionary. Let's get on over there. How's this manpower pool looking? Yeah, they have less than me. They still have more men in the field than I do, which is kind of nutso to think about, but they do. Put you guys over there. We have all those cannons, baby. Love it go that's my usual so what I just did there was I um, hit X to leave behind all my cav reselected it hit Z to leave behind my infantry split my infantry in half sent half of them over so now I have a full you know 10 and 9 and then I have all my reserves over here so if they attack me here I can reinforce with uh, frontline troops that's the way I do that Oh, the four four pack. Somebody had mentioned like, oh, because their first one was uh, uh, the first. Like, is this is that Tupac's father? One Pac. I thought that was funny, clever at the very least. Um, let's go ahead and take some uh, generals. See if I can finish out this group here. Just on his way over to take Teke again. So up here, this is these two tiles are completely safe from anything. Muscovy wants a marriage. Did they end up getting with somebody? Yeah, they got a Rorakovich. Very good. Free mill mana. My favorite. So Ottoman Separatists. Yeah, they might fire. It is what it is. If they do, I don't necessarily care a whole lot. Um, as soon as I win this, I can piece them out. I kind of am tempted to take Cyprus, but we'll see. Um, I would like that. I can afford it. So let's, we're going to do it. Um, going to help since we're falling behind there. We are annexing Serbia. Speaking of that, done in 27, so three years. Hopefully they don't siege too much down while I'm doing this. Yeah, of course, I lose the 50% siege. That is literally just... This is me playing EU4 in a nutshell. Lose every high high percentage siege that I possibly could. A disease outbreak on 71%. Sheesh. And then meanwhile, they're just getting all that war score again. We lost three seventy-one percent in a row, guys. Don't forget that. I want you to keep this in mind. Whenever I complain about... You know, RNG Jesus is not in my favor. I'm not kidding. So let's just siege that down. A little bit of extra war score. 
I suppose I might as well take everything I can. I obviously need to watch my aggressive expansion. Like that whole state. <clears throat> I think that's doable. Iraq could join. But it would give us a fort, which I think is uh, what we're looking for at the very least. So let's have us win all those sieges there, and then we'll take whatever monetary stuff we can get as well. There we go. Give me all your money, boy. There we go. We will release Syria. They will get all that for free. And um, I don't want to be... Yeah. Okay, well, I guess these guys are just going to hang out there for a little bit. Let's go ahead and grab our navies, get them together. We did take Tekka, which is going to give us a mission. Cover the coastline. Uh, permanent claims on more stuff over here. Right, I believe. Huh? Jermian, Ankara... Oh, so this is all land that I already have. And then Western Anatolia, so free claims on all of Caraman. So I'll be able to declare that war. That'll be good. Very good. So we're going to need to, uh, you know, hopefully not have those guys get killed. We're going to have to take care of those rebels. Prestige? Yearly prestige is good. Triumph for the Asia Minor Coast. Gain a Garbo General. Sounds good to me. Yeah, he's three threes. Pretty bad, but not the worst I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and have you guys brought over there. Let's um, increase that autonomy as well. Missionary is working there, so let's go ahead and not do that. Bit of an oversight on my part. There we go. <clears throat> They're heading over to Ankara, which is nice because that's a highland fort. So we will, you know, get the defensive ability there. You guys are defensive religious. Very nice. The only problem is, is that if I force convert them, they're going to be super pissy about it. So it's not a, not in my best interest. <clears throat> so how is our, I could totally sell this to somebody. Guarantee you he's going to be in debt the whole game. <clears throat> so let's just see here. Muscovy is not in debt anymore. Oh, I could totally do this. I just don't know if I want to take any land. I would probably just want to smash him, you know? He is my rival. Lithuania wouldn't join. Co-belligerent Aragon. That's an idea. What's Venice's navy looking like, though? I bet it's disgusting. I bet it's just absolutely disgusting. Let's see here. <clears throat> 36 galleys. Yeah. To be expected, right? So let's go ahead and just build a template of 10 more galleys. That's light ships. 10 more galleys. Go ahead and have them build there. <clears throat> we'll declare that war eventually. I'm not in a huge hurry. Oh, they revoked their guarantee. Hey, that is quite good. They probably saw them as a um, <clears throat> strategic guy. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> a strategic... Um, war for me and they're like yeah i changed my mind i don't want to fight that guy anymore so do we have claims on all this stuff no <clears throat> so poland so i could call in all three of them this actually totally makes sense to do because i'll be able to take all of this but i'm pretty sure he actually has cores on all that yeah so i can return cores only problem is is i won't be able to um <clears throat> This will be a good excuse to destroy Austria. But Austria is not necessarily a big deal. They're not even the emperor. Bohemia is the emperor. Hmm. I actually really like this. Is he my rival? He's not. Unfortunate. Hungary is... Hungary is getting stomped. Jeez. I'm gonna do this. <clears throat> We're gonna do Cleansing the Heresy. Because um, I won't lose Diplo for having him return the provinces as well as taking land over here. Uh, Venice, Pope Man. I do have a permanent claim on Rome. 
This is gonna be a good one. <clears throat> okay. So this unrest over here is gonna be problematic. All right, this is mostly just because of the religion. Let me turn that fan on, it's a little warm in here. Let me see here. Holy crap. Where all my money go? Oh, reinforcements, of course. Okay, so, <clears throat> Venice is in this war, so I need to be careful. Let's go ahead and bring our ships over. Make sure that everybody is nice and in a tight formation. Let's have these guys all group up. So Poland joined. Don't care. They'll completely just stomp Poland instantly. Like it's literally not going to be a problem at all. Global trade power is nice, so I will take that. It'll help out my income. I don't think I'm going to get this in time to make it... Probably take the general. Pretty good. Seven, seven, uh, seven shock is, or siege fire is not bad. Somebody join the coalition AQ Iraq. It's not gonna fire. Let's go ahead and have Poland's navy get sunk. That's what you get for having a navy, Poland. All right, very good. So, war score cost versus other religions is such a strong objective, and I'm very glad to have it. National unrest and attrition for enemy enemies. That's uh, pretty strong there. So, you just need to be aware. Venice's navy is lethal. So we do have two shock, but I'm guaranteeing that he's got a better better navy than I do. So, I don't think I need to even do anything in Poland. I think these two will handle him, and he will handle him. So I'm thinking I need to land on Venice. <clears throat> I would like to go to war with him as well. I don't think I could threaten him for it, because he's never going to give it up. <clears throat> but I need it for the missions, so... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, let's go ahead and just come up here, see if we can sneak a fight. Yeah, he doesn't, he's afraid of me, as he should be. You're damn right, boy. Go ahead and have you guys march over there. This and Kaifa join the coalition. Let's have these guys see if we can kill off Aragon's light, or transports. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get that monthly repair tick. Come on down here. I saw some ships down here. Don't know where they're at. Oh, there they are. That's a Venetian fleet that I want to fight. Joining up his galleys. 60 ships right there. And the beauty of it is, is that I have 60 as well. Let's go ahead. Let's actually make sure all of our cannons are in that fleet. We have 19. So let's go ahead and leave those guys behind. And then leave... Two of these guys behind. That is beautiful. Let's get a repair tick. Just in case they pop their navy out. Let's go ahead and land on them. Sienna. So they're at war. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. They're going to come back and try to fight me. I don't think they'll take a straight crossing. Eh, it looks like they're not interested. I'm not sure. So, I'm not going to spend the mill points on the siege. I think I'm just going to let it happen. Let it run its course. Looks like Castile is getting siege down because Castile is always a turd like that and gets siege down. Probably just has all of his armies overseas, protecting his colonies and whatnot. Oh, I love this. This is beautiful. Poland is not strong right now. Don't know where you guys are running to. Venice is uh, 
certainly. Ooh. It's a little sketchy there. Oh, baby. We might lose a couple, but uh, he's going to lose more than we are. Um... Yeah, they could be mad. Give them another province or two. Let's see here. Something like that. Like, uh... There you go. Uh, we are taking pretty even losses, though. His morale is going lower. There we go. So he... Oh, yeah. No, he definitely took heavier losses than we did. Somehow... Oh, somebody had joined us. I was going to say, we had way more um, lights than I remembered having. We also just have a bunch of galleys over here, so... That's pretty good. He's getting siege down by Pope, man. So Venice is going to want out for sure. <clears throat> Go ahead and have you... And all that alliance. Eh, I guess I don't care about that alliance. Guess I'll just take Crete. That's fine. I don't know. That is 19 AE, so probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, go ahead and have him revoke all of his cores. Give up all his claims. Well, does he have a lot of claims on me? Nah, just cores. So I'll have him give up all his cores. That's fine. Bunch of war wraps and all his money. How many times have I sieged down Venice? That's what I need to know. I need to know. Okay, so. This navy is kind of low health, so I need to be aware of that. Um, Purge of Aragonese Heresy. So, as soon as like these forts start falling, we'll be able to peace out Poland. Definite overkill on uh, what, what we did to this poor guy. Go. Blockade Messina. And let's go ahead and uh, see, send like half those guys over here. There we go. Converting, converting, converting. We have so much money in the bank right now. This is nutty. Um, yeah, whenever we're done with this, we want to build one there. Go ahead and improve that relation as well. Let's improve relations with these guys too. They still have the 633. Interesting. From the from when we actually vassalized them. Not gonna waste my legitimacy on uh Royal marrying him. Go ahead and convert Teke whenever it's done coring. We can. Oh, yeah, we're good. Castile is also just doing what Castile does. All right, so let's go ahead and peace out Poland. Let's go ahead and have him. I don't know how they're still allies, even though. Oh, wait, he wasn't co belligerent, that's why. Let's go ahead and humiliate and take war reps. How much war participation do I have? A lot. So I don't see any reason why I shouldn't take cash. Lots and lots of cash. Let's just take whatever he'll give us. The war reps are the big ones. Because I bet he's got a lot of debt right now. Check this out. Poland, Poland, Poland. Six loans. And it's about to go up as well. As he had to pay me money. So he took out another loan. Pretty good. That's pretty good. So... Spend some dip admin points on uh, some random stuff, so I don't, because I don't, I need to get rid of it. Let's go ahead and have you guys do that. Let's have you guys come on over here to Messina. Have you guys take this stack over here to uh, Valencia. 
I guess I might as well build a couple of mercs over here. Siege down Majorca and Minorca. Minorca. If you want to pronounce it like a like a truth um, Spaniard. It's like probably like Minorca. Because you have to get the lisp. Or else you're not Spanish, right? Does he have a claim on does he have a core on Malta? He does not. So you're going to return those three cores. How is that so much what? Bro, hold on. If I just take it myself, it's less. Okay. <laughs> well, that's weird. Um <clears throat> something like this is what I'd like to do. Take all the islands. I can take that island. There we go. And like that and that. All the islands. All of them. Just need to be careful, man. These co these uh Oh, the Pope didn't end up joining. Was the Pope supposed to be in on this war? I could attack him right now. That would uh, free up a bit of aggressive expansion. Aragon wouldn't join. Mantua would. Siena would. As much as I would like to have Roma, I don't know if that's in my best interests. I don't know. We're going to end up piecing this war out in the next one, though. Hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget to show your support. Leave a like. 300 likes per video, and we will keep the double daily uploads going. Support's been crazy. You guys are awesome. I honestly don't know how to thank you. So, subscribe if you haven't already. And, ooh, we're finished up annexing him. Very good. Look at those clean borders. Subscribe if you have not already. If you want to check out the Discord or support me on my Patreon. Links are in the description down below. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yadaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.